What's up, everyone? It's easy. For my final installment of the free-to-play guide, uh, this time we're going to go over familiar buildings, familiars, and my recommendation for free-to-play gear. Um kind of go over a disclaimer before we hit the gear but why don't we get started and Luigi is first my man Luigi all right so gonna go over the buildings real quick we have our spring this is what produces the anima or anime whatever you want to call it anima these are very crucial so basically this gives you your pack merging speed boost and this will give you up to 20% when you get it up to 25. And it'll give you an extra 3% on your skill stones when you want to, when you actually want to do those. Those are for like your Pyrus, um, your Griffin, stuff like that. So I recommend one, two, three, four, five. You're going to have your monster hold that holds all your familiars. And this varies. I would say you can do one to two gems. And what you'll do, you'll see that I have 37 heroes lined up. So if you have two, split them up kind of equal so that they both go about the same time and I carry two uh, mystic spires just for the fact I can I can train or merge 23 packs at a time so I figure the more packs you can do at a time the better so that is my recommendation for your familiar area. So let's get into the familiars. First off, we have Griffin, giving you a max allied army size. This is uh, what people can reign you. I think uh, minimum is one million. So you can get up to, I think it's an extra 50k so you can go up to a million 50k <clears throat> then he also gives training speed maxes out at five percent this is where you'll need your skill stone this can recall troops within if you max it out this will recall all troops within six seconds, and you can do it every 30 minutes. It's not something I've ever been kind of into. I'm not, I don't really like trapping. Um, trapping is, to me is kind of boring. I'd rather get out there and actually rally something or fill a rally on something. So next, we have Trickstar. This is a really good one. This is 5% research speed, 10% range attack, and grants three random holy star items. You can get 100, 1,000, or 10,000. So it's a really good one to have. If you can't buy stars, at least you'll get uh, stars every two days. 
Next, we have Gremming Gemlin, or Gemming Gremlin, <laughs> whatever. Uh, this one, it does construction speed up to 5%. Gem gathering speed up to 10%. And this is a really good one. This grants a thousand to two thousand gems every two days. So now we have Goblin. Goblin will, let's see, gathering speed plus 25% when it's maxed. It gives you gold production, 35% at maxed. And it grants you 6 million to 12 million gold every day. So there's free gold. So next we have Nasiris. Nasiris is army capacity. This works for gathering. Basically, uh, it gives you less troops sent out to a tile because your gatherers can hold more and you can get up to 35% on that. Hey Snooks, how you doing? Welcome. Next you have Cav Attack. It'll give you up to 10% when maxed. And in a flash, when you have it maxed, you can complete gathering for up to five tiles. And it will completely clear them. You can't use them for gem loads or event points. But it's good to throw out there every day because, uh, let's say you just wanted to grab your low on wood. Throw out five wood tiles. Nasiris them back or in a flash. And there you go, you got wood. Next we have Pyrus. Pyrus grants extra supplies up to 20%. Oh, that was an accident. Yeah, who cares? Extra supplies is kind of when you get hit and you start losing things, um, it will grant you, there's a little button on the right side of your, in uh, your base that will grant you extra supplies. So it gives you food, stone, wood, ore, and some gold. Because basically you just got wrecked. Hey Carmen, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Hey, Roar. Roar snuck in here. All right, and final one for Pyrus is Blazing Trail. Uh, this one's kind of a, a fun one to play around with. Um, if you have extra gems, you can use it every 30 minutes. It'll kill... 7,500 to 12,500 troops in enemies barracks won't exceed over 5%. So let's say they they don't have 5% of what 12,500 would be, so it'll kill a lesser amount. It's fun to play around with, fun to pirate your buddies, because basically it's just killing T1. No big deal. So next we have Mole Shaman. This is a pretty good one. Uh, infantry, infirmary capacity, I'm sorry, 5%. So it gives you a little more uh, beds. It gives you 10% inf attack, which is really good. How you doing, Carmen? And this, who cares about this? Like I said, if you watch the previous uh, streams, 
Defense is not needed. You do not need defense, so you don't need rapid repair. Next, we got Magus. He will grant you five extra packs to merge every time. That is a big one. It'll help you get those uh, pack three and pack fours done quicker. Uh, it also gives you uh, plus 360 minute on your altar boost. That's good if you're killing prisoners. And then this is Dark Assistance. This fills up help bar for ongoing research. And you can use that every eight hours. Lucky I'm on a quest or I give a preview. Hmm. All right, next we got Totem Pest. This grants timber production plus 35%. If you're a wood hyper, this is one that you'll want to work on. Get that guy maxed. And then it also grants you refresh cargo ship immediately. So you can get more freebie items from extra resources you may have. Next we have Evil Weevil. If you are a food hyper or have a food hyper, this is a good one for that. You get food production 35%. And at max, gather round, uh, get four hours worth of resources. So all your resources, you'll get uh, four hours worth Four hours worth of what you can produce. I am fumbling my words today. Next is Aquarius. Aquarius is anima production. This is a good one. The more anima you have, the better, because you're going to need it. Uh, this is plus 40% maxed. And another good one is you'll get uh, Stanima. Stamina, almost sound like Snooks and Cinnamon. Snooks is going to hate me for that too, just so you know. But you'll get a 60 to 120 Stamina, and you can get that every 12 hours. Next we have Bonehead. Bonehead maximizes your anima storage by 20%. And this is a really good one here. This will help you get more gems. Uh, you get 10 Colosseum entries every day. So once you get past 5,000 in Colosseum, you start earning gems. And you can earn up to 500 gems every three or four hours or something like that if you hit the number one spot next is sorcerer allied troops travel speed plus 25 percent if you're reinforcing somebody or jo joining a dark nest <laughs> See, Snooks is already mad. Trying to get Carmen to flick me. Next is Dark Magic. It instantly completes an ongoing transmutation, which is an essence from darkness. So if you're running a bunch of darkness, this helps because you can complete one instantly and put another one in we got gnome gnome is another good gold production 25 percent don't worry i'll go back and i'll kind of talk about the army talents as well terra spike is another good food production 25 percent Magma Lord 
is for stone, 25%. Oak root is for wood hypers, an extra 25. Yeti. Yeti helps your gatherers go faster, up to 25%. Jazik. Jazik increases your storage. So this is the absolute minimum that you'll have after, you know, let's say somebody hits you, takes all your resources, you're still going to have so much because you have a vault that people just can't touch. And it's not always much. That brings us to Krabby. Krabby is for your ore. You can get up to 35%. And for newer players, this is a player experience boost. And you can get up to 10%. That's a good one to try to get to level 60. And then we have Tempestite. Again, wall defense, who cares? This is good for hunting. Energy regain speed. I think it goes up to 10%. Yep, 10%. And this is another good one. I know it's only T1, but it gives you up to 20,000 free troops every three days I know T1 isn't great but it's good if you want to gather we got boulder boulders another stone production and it can give you up to 35% and overtime maxes out your help bar for an ongoing construction it's good when you're going back and forth from infirms to manners and vice versa. Or if you're trying to get to level 25. So we got Strix. Oh, hang on. I have been informed that there is a rally going on. but it is on my other account and there's only one space left So, okay, back to Strix. We got Blood Bag. Blood Bag is uh, Infirmary Healing Speed, up 25%. That's a good one. For when you uh, have troops in your infirmary. And then we have Quick Fix. It reduces execution wait time by 240 minutes currently, up to 360. So you're looking at oh, five minutes off or five hours off. Wait a minute. No, six hours off. I'm sorry. So it's six hours off, which helps a little bit. It's not too bad. Now it's on to Harpy. Harpy allows you to put 50k extra into your uh, 
shelter. At, and that's at max. And first class, I recommend that everybody does this free to play. Get them up to, get her up to level 60 and max this out. It'll help you get to VIP 15 faster. Grants up to three random VIP points. I have to pause for a second. Because I got to record this rally. Ooh, I think this guy went into fury. Uh oh, where'd he go? Oh, he moved again. shielded well that was a dry hump if I ever saw one all right so we're at territe hey what's up Justin What's up, Potato? So, Territe, we have Groundbreaker. And this is merge speed for packs. You can get up to 20%. And then it gives you Netherquake, which can grant you random frags three times between 5 and 30. <clears throat> Those are good for helping to up your skills. You can up your skills here with frags. Next we have engineer, which is for ore. That's a 25% boost. Beastmaster. This is supply travel troops. Um, Basically up to 25% in speed. This is if you're giving resources to somebody, they'll get there faster. That's a pretty good one to have. Uh, that's pay to play, pay to play, pay to play, pay to play, pay, pay, and back to the beginning. So... Good old Wolf Basil decided to rally little old me this KVK. Guess you were right. I was safe sitting next to you guys in Baron by myself. His dang T5 fam killed more troops than his rally. Oh, dang. Yeah, you were safe uh, next to us in Baron. So, that is uh, Royal J. Royal J used to be with us. Really good dude. Alright, so I'm going to go over the army talent. So, Tailwind. This is an army attack. Uh, let's see. Up to 200%. It'll last for 10 seconds when 10% of your, your troops have fallen. This is a good... This is a good uh, familiar for um, attacking <clears throat> because most likely you're going to hit more troops than what you're sending. 
So you're going to hit 10% loss before they do. So it's a good one to use, and it'll boost your army attack. This is another one that stacks. This is a really good stack. Well, Griffin doesn't stack. I'm sorry. This is a really good one. This is a stacking skill. Uh, do I do KVK? Yeah, most definitely. I think I scored uh, fourth in our guild. We had a really dead kingdom. Uh, I will be doing a video on it. Uh, so you're going to have to wait on that. I got, I got two videos coming out soon. Uh, second one will be KVK. I do have a good rallies video coming. So Trickstar has a good uh, stacking skill. It's for range attack. So if you're going at somebody and you're sending range, it jumps 100% when 10% of your range troops have fallen. And this keeps stacking up. So it's 100, 200, 300, 400. Every time you lose 10% of what you got, it's going to keep stacking. So next, this is the same thing. This is a stacker, 100% when 10% fall for inf attack. This is really good. And this is the cav. Cav attack, 100% when 10% falls. And this one stacks as well. Noceros doesn't have one. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Pyrus has... At the start of battle, grants a 60% boost to heroes. I would not recommend this. This lasts for 10 seconds, and by the time it's really usable, you're wasting like 5 seconds on the wall. I, I don't recommend Pyrus. I wouldn't waste my time. It To me, it's... And this is my opinion. I think Pyrus is garbage. Mole Shaman doesn't have one. Neither does Magus. Totem Pest. Uh, this is range defense. Um, it'll do 80% for 10 seconds when 10% of your range troops have fallen. This is another one. Defense. I wouldn't do defense unless it's the last thing you're doing. So I would skip Totem Pest. Weevil is a good one. Weevil is at the start of battle, increases army HP by 15%. That's a good one. HP is your number one focus. Yeah, Pyrus Fam is trash. Wouldn't do it. I don't even want to waste orbs. I don't care if I had a million orbs and that was the last thing I had. I wouldn't do Pyrus. Weevil is one of the top three I think anybody should do. Being uh, free to play and lower might. Then we have Aquarius. Uh, this is the equivalent to weevil but it reduces enemies hp so it goes up to 15 percent this is a must have free to play must have this along with weevil then we have bonehead another defense trash this is a good one uh, this is uh, increases ranged HP by 80% for 10 seconds when 10% of your ranged troops have fallen. It's not a bad one for a free to play trying to hit somebody with range. Then we have Deadly Tips from Gnome. This is 15% range attack. 
This would go along with Sorcerer, depending on how many slots you have available. And I want to say the, the slots, hang on, let's check. Because you have to, oh, wrong one. You have to go to Familiar Battles. And I want to say you can get up to slot three, free to play. Once you get up to slot three, it starts asking for tomes. So you can, you can do all these. These three are free. You can get up to seven, get your second, get up to seven on all six of those and you can get your third but everything after that it takes tomes so you can get three if you're doing a range spear do i use sorcerer aquarius or weevil how many fam slots do you have that's the first question We were we were on gnome. Like I said, this is a good one. I would do this one because it gives you that range attack. Uh, it's fifteen percent. When it comes to investing online, the decisions you make matter. Get access to industry leading research and tools when you trade with JP Morgan. Then next Plus, you have commission free online stock. This is Terra Spike and it's infantry HP. Yeah, reduce enemies infantry HP by 40%. That's a good one. You have two working on three. My first is Trickstar. Second is Gnome. First, let me look at Gnome. Gnome was the range attack. And Trickstar is the stacking. Um... If you're doing a range spear, see this is only for 10 seconds when, this isn't bad, this is good, that's 10%. I would use this over Sorcerer, I would use Weevil over Sorcerer. And you can use Weevil or Aquarius. They do this. They're going to do the same thing. Depending on who you're hitting, I would say I would go with Weevil just because it's a definite given you the HP. Because if it's a if it's a really weak player, taking away 15% isn't really going to do much. I would say take the 15% on yourself and not the other player. Swiftly, how you doing, man? Hey, you're late, but you're here. I appreciate it. Okay, just went over Gnome. Now we're on Terra Spike. Terra Spike is reducing the enemy HP for infantry 40%. That's a good one. Anything that reduces an enemy's HP is good. Anything that gives you HP is good. And anything that gives you attack is good. So, next we have Magma Lord. This is reducing. Uh, enemies ranged HP 40% that's a really good one Oak Root reducing enemies infantry oh wait hang on did I read that right 
Yeah, that one's HP. This one's defense. Dead trash. Don't even worry about Oak Root. So we got Yeti. Yeti is a 15% cav attack when maxed. This is a really good one. You always suggest people focus on gear, heroes, familiars that will help if attacked. My top two for non-rally leads is Aquarius and Evil Weevil. They're great on your wall. Just my quick two pennies. Yeah, hey, that that is a good thought. That's the first three things that people should be worrying about. Uh, gear, heroes, and familiars. And I will get to the wall here in a second. So, Cav Attack, that's a good one. Um, if you can't get pay to play, if you get free coins for Tycoon and get lucky and get a few of the pay to play fans, that's great. I know on this account I will never have those maxed out. But I am getting uh, quite a few gems, as you can see sitting on 747k usually use them during guild fest uh jazik this reduces enemies cav hp by 40 percent this is a really really good one crabby uh defense don't worry about it tempestite Stuns one of your enemy's largest squads for 8 seconds when 10% of your troops have fallen. This is a good one. It's good for, you know, smaller players uh, going to attack. It, it definitely is a good one. You're not going to... If you get better familiars, you'll end up taking Tempestite out. But early on, it is a good familiar to use. Especially if you have three slots. So we got Boulder. And that's defense. And as you notice, anything defense in this game, just get rid of it. It's trash. There's nothing defense can help you with. Unless you have max HP, max attack. Then your defense is going to start playing into, into all this. But early on, no. So Strix. This increases Cav max HP by 80% for 10 seconds when 10% of your Cav troops have fallen. This is a pretty good one to have in, in your Cav Spear. Um, probably not my number one. I would say if... Uh, HP is always going to be number one, so I don't know. That's a tough call. It depends. It, it go, all goes back to how many slots do you have. If you got three, then no. It is a good one to have, though, because you might get four and five slots later on. So next we've got Harpy. She's the infantry HP version. 80% for 10 seconds when 10% of your imp falls. Still a good one to have. Now we have Territe. It's defense. Garbage. Engineer is imp attack by 15%. This is the entire battle. So that's a good one to have for your imp uh, spear. Next is Beastmaster, Defense, Trash, and I am pretty sure that's it. Yeah, because the rest are pay to play. Like I said, I mean, I've got, I've gotten 11 medals, 5, 9, oh, 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 why can't I enhance it? Oh, because it's a level one. 
I can fix that. So we'll just let that run. I didn't realize I had 25. That's pretty cool. But even still, I mean, it's going to take me forever to get those. Now, I've made a mistake here. I made a huge mistake. Uh, I don't have Weevil. But I do have Aquarius. Now, my recommendation on the wall is reducing. Hopefully, you can get up to three. Three. You can get three being free to play. That's a guarantee. I would say. Let me get back to it. it you want these reduce enemy range HP by 40% you want to reduce that enemy's HP big time and you don't have time to change these while you're getting hit but if you can put these on your wall so, Jazik, Magma Lord, and who is, who's the last one? Who's the last one? Is it Sorcerer? No. Definitely want Weevil. Oh, Terror Spike. I would recommend those three. Terror Spike, Magma Lord, and Jazik. Just for the fact that if you have all three maxed, you're knocking down their Imp, their Range, or their Cav HP by 40%. That is huge. That will catch them all. Um, Carmen says Weevil. Weevil, yeah, it gives your army a 15% boost. But if you're knocking the enemy down 40%, I think that's a lot bigger. You like slots. That's good. That's good. But, um, I mean, if, if you still wanted to go with, like, uh, it, sometimes uh, people do a rain, like, a, a rain trap kind of deal. If you wanted to do, like, Evil Weevil, Aquarius, and, you know, let's say you're, you're Range Rain, and you wanted to throw, uh, which one was it? It's not Terror Spike. <clears throat> you wanted to throw Sorcerer up there? You know, that gives you... Well, no, you don't want these when 10% of your ranged troops fall. You don't want anything on your wall that is when 10% of any of your troops fall. Because if you have a lot of troops... 
it could take a while. So, I mean, I would go with maybe a, a range attack uh, familiar if you have three spots. If I missed anything on familiars, please let me know. I do want to check the Guildfest board real quick. And it looks like there is absolutely nothing that I want to do. Okay. So, on to gear. Free to play gear. Again, this is my suggestion. I know there's a bunch of other people that have suggested, oh yeah, you know, go with this or go with that. This is my suggestion. And the latest that I've heard on an offhand, I don't agree with. But that's his opinion, and I'm going to give you mine. So, let me see what I've got. This is my mix, and this is not what I would suggest. Okay, so that's a decent point on the 40%. It's 10% difference of HP. I use the range 15% as that's normally my front line. And bringing my attack up is a little more helpful than the 10% difference in my opinion. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's a good point too. But I do want to point out that HP is always going to be better than attack. Attack is number two. So you do want to you want to max out your HP as much as possible and then go for your attack afterward. And then, like I said, unless you have maxed HP, maxed attack, defense means nothing. So this is not the this is not the set I want to recommend being free to play this takes a ton of monster hunting it it takes a guild that is so dedicated to hunting that you have a possibility of making some of this stuff but i do want to start off with the helmet so, my first recommendation as a free to play player is we scroll down and you get the indulgent visage. This is a good one. When you get it to Mythic and realize you do have to research for Mythic. Other than that, you get it to gold. Because I'm not 100% on if doing the mythic research costs anything as a free-to-play player. Aquarius and Weevil. I don't think about those three fans, really. Yeah, there you go. Aquarius and Weevil, those are good. Definitely good wall heroes. So, the Indulgent Visage, basically, you're hunting bonds, and it's super easy to get this. I can make one to gold right now, and I don't think I've ever made one of these, but it gives you, if you get it to gold, it's going to give you 10% Inf attack and range attack. That is a big one. And then if you add your jewels, uh, even adding blue jewels is better than no jewels at all. Always jewel, inf, cav, range. All attack. And that'll help you out in your mix set. So that is my helmet recommendation pretty much just the same as everybody else we'll go to the chest I'm kind of torn on this one because I look at two different ones and we're gonna look at it right here 
you can either go with the Frostwing armor. Yes, you're going to need the ultra rare from a Frostwing, but like I said, if you can if you can get those guild members to hunt a lot of Frostwings, it only takes one. Um yeah, I mean I I can make well, let's see. I might be able to make one mythic right now. Okay, so I need one. Look at that. I can make one mythic right now. But this will give you 11.2% inf attack, 11.2% range attack. Who cares about. Well, if you have siege, you're always going to be sending siege anyway. Or you've got siege. Doesn't hurt to have uh, some siege attack. But it's either this or the Winter Parka. And the only reason I say the Winter Parka, you get some Inf Attack at 17.5. And you get that Army Max HP at 21%. That is a big one. And let's see. Got to hunt the Snow Beast for this. You do need one ultra rare snow beast uh, material, but that's not too bad. Same thing, I can almost make a, a mythic right now. So those are my two recommendations. I mean, whichever one's gonna be easier to make, I guess. But I think people uh, pass up on the Frostwing armor because it, it's not great. But being free to play, trying to get uh, even stats, that's a decent one to do. Going to boots. Uh, I am going to recommend the exact same thing as everyone else. Because they are probably the best free to play boots in the game. It's honeycomb chaps. You hunt the queen bees. And these materials drop like candy. I mean, it, trying to get a Venom is pretty difficult, but these drop like no other. You get your Cav Attack, you get Range Attack, and whoop -dee, you get some defense. So Honeycomb Chaps, that's my Boots recommendation. Going for the Main Hand. I'm going to go with the number one first and then my secondary recommendation. My number one is going to be the fiery tomahawk. You get a little of each. So you get 14% cav attack, 9.1 inf attack, and 4.9 range attack. And all you got to do is gather materials from gathering. So these are super easy. You got rich veins, fields, and more rich veins. So it's a super easy one to get. Just go out and gather. Or you can get lucky, get uh, some material chests. And my backup recommendation for this is your Frostwing Sword. Frostwing Great Sword. See, it's great. This one's going to be tougher to get. Because you do need, you need these uh, Frostwing Hearts. Uh, you need four of them. It will be, this is why it's my backup. But look at the stats on this. You get 28% inf, 28% cav, and 17.5 range. 
you jewel that up with some blue purple gold jewels and you're doing good this is my backup so fiery tomahawk is my number one frostwing sword if you can do it is the backup now the offhand same as everybody else this is gonna take hunting some snow beasts you need four of these but you're getting range attack some massive inf defense some massive army defense and 35 percent army hp that right there is all worth it just this so that definitely is my offhand uh recommendation now to accessories pretty sure nope 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 we are looking for this right here the lost islands relic you gather for this one rich veins rocks and fields so free to play lost islands relic 8.4 percent infant range attack plus the army hp i would do two of these and if you get your third slot I would do an aqua animon. You get these materials from hunting title titans. And I do want to go back to the offhand. Uh, the previous person that recommended an offhand, they recommended a call of the deep. They recommended it, and it takes two ultra rare pearls. Now, I'm not saying this is not a good recommendation. Like I said, it is their opinion. And I'm pretty sure that they didn't know what else to do with the pearls. But if you get a bunch of pearls, my recommendation for that is your Storm Tacits. Yes, it takes 11. It takes an absolute ton. But look at the stats it gives you. 42% imp, 42% cav. Your defense and 14% army HP. This is absolutely amazing for an imp uh, spear set. If you're going to ever save up, save up for these. Because there are so many better things that you can get than a Call of the Deep. And I'm not saying that you'd be wasting anything. But yeah, it's still two pearls. And it, it's decent. It's, it's a good, uh, it's a really good piece but I would save my pearls for the tacits. That is exactly what I would use them for. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my recommendation for free to play gear. If you agree, awesome. If you don't, hey, we all have our own opinions. So, I'm pretty sure that's all I got for you today. I'm glad you guys came and hung out, asked some questions, had some fun. Hopefully you had fun. 
And if there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know. I'm more than willing to do any kind of stream that helps you out with your Lord's Mobile account. And I'm glad you made it swiftly. Hey, happy birthday, Dave. All right. So I think that's going to be it for my free to play guide. Unless somebody messages me and says, hey, can you do something on this? I'll be more than glad to do it. But I'm going to cut the stream. And again, glad to have you guys with me. And I'll see you in the next one.